boy, Reed. Come on. <laughs> well, that was stupidity on my part. It sounded like a good idea, and then I did it once and thought, oh, gosh, I can't look stupid now and have to grab me a partner. But uh, I can pretty much get through doing everything else. But when it comes to running, that's, that's kind of where I start to struggle. So that was definitely the hardest one for me. How are y'all? Good. Good. I think two things. One, he was the odd man out, and the other one, he was making a point. And, uh, you know, you guys are laboring two at a time, and I'm going to push it by myself. So I, I think there was uh, a message there. And, again, an unspoken message, an, an action message. Watch me. When you have an uneven group like that, you got to bite the bullet. And the, and the senior leadership, just like Reed is, he said, I got it. This is my sled. And he pushed it the same amount of weight. In fact, I think he even outran the guys that were pushing two, two at a time. That's to tell you the character he is. You know, he's a tough guy. He's a, it shows it on the field. He's a heck of a player for us. He's dependable. He's going to be there every day. He's an everyday guy that, that you know he's going to be physically ready to go. Um, and he's a senior leader just like that, taking the sled, it's mine. And that's what it's about. Hopefully those younger kids saw that, next year when they're in that role, they fill in. That's all we got in the tank. I think that when you have people like Reed, you know, a senior, um, a guy that's done it now, this is his second year with us, and he, he, he has a lot of, uh, he carries a lot of weight, because not only does he work like he works, uh, but he had a good year. He had a real good year, he's a very good player. He's been drafted. He's done a lot of things that the young guys aspire to do. And when they see it like him, a guy like him, getting after it like he does. And Barrett's a good example, and Jamadric's a good example, and Neely and Duke. All guys that have done something here, Masik, uh, when they're really pushing it at a high end, it makes it easier for a young guy to jump on. Because the young guy's watching Jamadric, Redman, to see how they respond to the thing. You know, it's... Uh... It's fun. You kind of take. It's kind of a pride thing for me. I try to, try to you know pick up the all the freshmen because I know they've never done anything like this, and you know just showing them you know what you can get through it, and uh, just one of those deals where you're just trying to lead the others by example. And that's the only way to really lead is by example. Uh, you can say what you want, but guys are watching what you do, and you know uh, those guys are all. Uh, you know, uh, performance guys, they're all show me guys. They're not yak, 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 talk, 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 and, and don't no go. So I think that's key, and that's, again, that's part of what, what we're doing there. It's one of the most important things about being in this program, being an older guy. We don't have too many seniors this year, so there's a lot of juniors, so we're kind of like juniors and seniors. We're the bulk of the team this year, and we're, we're here to be the leaders and the captains of the team. So it's definitely important to set a good example to have, have some leadership roles for those younger guys. And I have a lot of passion for what I do, so I take everything seriously. And I try to lead those guys just like, just like Jilly King where they led me when I was a freshman. And so I take that pride in myself, and I try to do that every single day I come to the ball field. You know, guys like Barrett, guys like Jamadric, I mean, guys that are going to be draft pit, high, pretty high draft picks, going to have a lot of attention on them. It's really important for them to, you know, be out here, be front and center, really busting their butt just to show everybody, you know what, those guys are the – best guys in the program those guys have the most talent out here and you know what if they can give give their best give 110 percent doing this kind of stuff you know what we better do it too one two three no one else is doing this what we're doing no one else is putting in this type of work i'm sure everybody has uh you know has different things that they're doing around in programs around the country but just knowing that this is specifically for us this is specifically to make us tougher i think it kind of gives us an edge going into the season and, and it's a separator i mean it can't be uh you know, everybody would like to play college sports. This is why everybody can't. Not just talent, but mindset, you know, toughness, um, the ability to do it again the next day and to repeat. Proud of you, man. Nice job. Real good. It separates the boys from the men because this year we had no one quit, so that, that says something good for the Red Raiders. Uh, nobody did what you did. All right? I guarantee you. They didn't. They didn't touch it. They might have got him up early and ran a couple jogs and called it a day. Not here, all right? Not with the Red Raiders. This is what we do. One was to be different and something they could buy into. This is how the Red Raiders do it. And, uh, and then two is something I knew that if we get to the end of it, they were going to be proud of it. It was going to be something they could hold on to. All right, great job. You got to recover fast. The way the calendar laid out, man, we got to go to work tomorrow. And hopefully something they can look back when times are hard, when practice is long, when you're in the seventh inning of a long weekend, they can look back and go, we, we won't get through this. We're going to be fine. We did three days of, you know, the three days of character builder. Rally him up. Great job. Oh, this is right here. Oh, did something. Ready, so three. One, two, three. Raiders. Raiders.
So if you can't make it through this, then you're not going to be successful at anything else you do. Because if you can't push yourself through something like that with a whole bunch of guys motivating you, what are you going to do when, when you're the new guy and there's no one in your corner, there's no one backing you up? So I think um, this, things like that just help you, help you all throughout life. As long as you can just find it within yourself to do something, even when you don't necessarily feel like doing it or feel like you can do it, you just dig deep and you go get it and you finish what you got to do and you finish your job. And um, that's just going to help you in all aspects of your life.